Is it worth maybe putting a thingamajig out here, Frontier Outpost? Yeah, well, there's a, there's a world there we could colonise instead of putting an outpost down. Oh, spread our borders. How, how, how good is it? It's a continent of well, worlds. It's tiny, is it? Oh, yeah, it's like a little moon. Yeah, it's too it's pretty it's dinky. It's too dinky. But these ones, oh, it's a tundra world, a desert world. Hmm, let's have a look at these worlds just in case they're big enough. We'll, we'll put, think, think about it. That's a big world. Wow, yeah. If we can get tundra colonisation... That yeah. might be fine, actually. And that will cover a large area, won't it? Mm. And then Isseus is right at the end of the thing. And a oh, it's going to be tiny, tinky, isn't it? Tinky little, little moon. moon. Oh, it's got some cool shit happening on it, though. What's this about? Mineral oh. pore. <laughs> and a magnetic field. Now, I did notice, actually, that there was tundra colonization. Oh, yeah. So we could get it to work on that instead. But this might not come back up. Yeah, it's a, it's a rare tech. I suppose we should grab it while we have the chance. All right, we'll do our best. Oh, oh the, the Mole, mole men, men are back. News from the Mole Men. Uh, <laughs> a large group of refugees from the Mole Men have streamed out their tunnels, chased by a small army. Ooh. They're some sort of religious minority fleeing persecution. If we let them join our colonists on the service, we'll know anger that rules the Empire they fell from. However, if we let the pursuing army take them back underground, they will kill them. Oh, <sighs> my God. Surely we have to, to save life wherever possible. One pop is created on Terra Nova. Now, where is, where is Terra Nova? We don't oh, have it anymore. It's, it's in the sector. Our... We can still view it. We just can't tell them what to build. We can't tell them what to do. Look, whoever's in charge needs to make this. <laughs> Sel- Selma Lambert, you need to make this decision, not us. Yeah, why? Well, don't don't bring this shit to us. It's, it's already just... full of pop here, by the way. Oh, yeah, we don't have much to benefit There's from There's only that, one though. pop free. So we can... I just seems rough to, like, you know, just let, the, let them die. Yeah. Pretty grim. Well, listen... Right. Maybe they're like, maybe they're like bad guys though. Maybe they're gonna just maybe these maybe these guys are like they claim to be fleeing persecution, but maybe they're like bad. Oh, I don't know. Maybe I don't know what to do. Well, I, I think we're already on pretty good terms with the mole men because the last three events that came up, we did the thing they wanted. That's true. You know, we gave them the guns. We let them off, like demolishing one of our buildings That's by true. burrowing underneath. All right. I think we're due a. Uh, oh. Oh, hello. My God. He's a reptile man. Where's he gone? He's gone straight to work in the physics lab. Sweet. If Who knew him, that what, mole men... What's he good at? Were in fact... Oh, my goodness. So he's he's weak. Oh. Right? But he's also resilient. <laughs> That's a weird he's combination. He's... Uh, he likes continental planets. So he's yeah, right at he's home. He's a continental fellow. He's spiritual. Oh. He's quite happy. He's a pacifist. There's no... Oh, man. So not really be able, be Why were they hassling the pacifists? That, that seems well, redundant. I don't know. It does, doesn't it? So, boss... Pack Tux. Boss Pack Tux. Is that his name? Is that is that what I, they're called? I think the mole the race men. Of the mole men. Yeah. The mole men are the Boss Pack Tux. <laughs> yeah. That's insane. <laughs> and they're lizards. What kind of lizards live underground? These ones. Uh, there's probably loads. We'll get comments. I'm sure. <laughs> 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 oh wow! So so, man, how do we? I wanted to be able to breed. Yeah, I think, well, we need to move some of our other humans out of the way. Or, I guess if we start um, clearing out these um, blocked places. Or, you know what else? We could we could build a colony ship here and load it with mole men. And, fill, and make a mole men planet. Uh, yeah, a, a planet just for the, the religiously persecuted mole men to live on. Let's do it. Oh, amazing. You're going to have, a, like, your own... Your own like free place to live. It's gonna be brilliant. We're gonna we're gonna ship all the mole men off somewhere else. Oh, that's amazing! They'll never be bothered. Oh, with their, fantastic! They're so mole enemies again. Oh, the Enterprise A has been upgraded. Oh, sweet, Jonathan Archer. You're back in on back on board. Get back on. Oh, he didn't go. I think he clicked rename by mistake. Oh, cool. And then we'll have to put someone else in charge of oh, physics. Oh, sorry. Yeah. It's all right. We've got um someone at the top. Uh, where's the Where's the guy with with his little robot oh, friend? There he is. Michael Dax. All right. Good good work, Dax. Let's send um, send him off to survey. Actually, we'll just start with the soul system, which yeah. is bizarre. I know. It's <laughs> weird mirror. The mirror, uh, the mirror, uh, mirror Earth. Hopefully we'll find like an ancient civilization there or something. <laughs> uh, uh, the Earth. The planet Earth is full of billions of corpses. <laughs> yeah. No! Why? It's like some kind of weird parallel dimension. So is that the is that the mineral rich one? Yeah. Yeah. So we might want to check out this tropical world. Mm. Mm. Although oh, have we have we not got tropical. I don't think we have tropical either, do we? Or do we? I don't remember. We can check. Um, ocean, ocean, desert. 
Arctic. We might only have ocean. You know. I've not seen a tropical world, maybe. Hmm. I don't think. I'm not sure. Hmm. How do we know? Oh, 60% colonizable. So it looks like it is colonizable. Okay. okay. We can colonize tropical. Cool. Although, we're not super, super right with it. No, there's a limit to how happy they can be. So um, It would have been interesting if the mole men lived in like a weird biome, though, like in the desert or whatever, because then we could yeah. have sent them off to colonize like a weird planet. That would have been cool. Yeah, that's, you know... Oh, we're receiving a transmission from the Pagovan. Oh, okay. Hello. Oh, well, oh my God. Funny looking. They're like fungal slugs. <laughs> What's wrong with your face? Led by the illustrious Archprophet Zad I, we rule oh. our region of space under a divine mandate. As long as you do not interfere in our spiritual affairs. Listen, Pogavoni. We're delighted to meet you. Let's have a now, look at them. where are they? Oh, my God. Oh, wow. How far did they ex explore? Yeah, that's crazy. Let's have a chat with them, see what, what they're up to. The Pogavon Kingdom. Maybe they want to share maps or something. Sure. Hey. Oh, they really don't like us. Why not? Because they're fanatic communists and they're evangelizing zealots. <laughs> Oh my gosh. They literally just can't shut up about their weird fungus god. Uh, well, shall we trade shall we, shall we trade star charts? Maybe? We'll give it a try. They'll probably not, not want our be cool filthy heathen star charts. Uh, they probably think the universe is like flat or something. Uh, what do I want to trade? I want to give them my star charts as well. Oh, that. No, minus a thousand. They're not really up for They're it, not, are they? No, I don't think there's any amount of money we could give them to sway that. How, about five minerals? They're not, at all, they're not at all up for anything. <laughs> no. They do not like us. They, they do not want to talk to us. They, no. They are not cool with us. That's fine. That's all right. I'm fine. They're far away. We don't have to worry about their uh, fungus way. Shall we see if uh, any of our ships need upgrading, actually? So we got cruiser, didn't we? Did we ever build oh, a yeah. custom cruiser? I don't think we did. I think we just got destroyers. Well, I can't Crap. remember, though. We might have to check. It looks like we didn't, did we? Look. Oh yeah, these are missiles. These aren't even our torpedoes. Yeah. So we've got the Constellation class ship. This is the old one. Let's not, delete yeah, that. Been that. All right, you just research the anomaly. Uh, we've got a Conley ship, which actually I think these need to have. Oh yeah, they do need. Or else we're not going to be able to head off to oh, the new places, yeah, are we? Yeah. We need some more uh, reactors as well. Oh no, really? Just I'll just yeah, stick a cold fusion reactor on. Perfect. There we go. Perfect. Okay, that's sorted out the Conley ship. Uh, construction ship. He's probably needs to have an upgrade too. Let's get these get these boys upgraded to the sea lion design. Or else they're not going to be able to cross over either. Yeah, and the troop transports as well while we're at it. Oh, yeah, crap. So when the game first came out, you couldn't um, alter your troop transports. They always were level one everything. Really? Really annoying. They would like really lag behind your fleet. Hmm. Oh, if you right-click on it, it deletes it. Ah, okay, there we go. One cold fusion react seems to power them pretty well. Just enough. That's perfect. All right, so we've got this cruiser. Okay, what, what do we need? Ah, so we've got different options. Oh, yeah. We can have yeah. the guard breaker front, which I guess is one large weapon. Yeah, one, one massive torpedo Ooh. launcher. Oh, crap. Oh, everything's happening. A s uh, we found a mineral cluster, a holographic record, multi-sided, secure in the UNS Skolsky's tractor beam. Well, ah, okay. there's a, a, a project. A crystal codex. Let's, let's, let's do it. Um, oh, she's already flown off. <laughs> oh, I hate the way they do that. Why would you do that, you maniac? All right, go. go. That's, that's, oh, there's lots more things to build here. Anyway, everyone else is working They're fine. All busy. So we'll get on it. That's fine. Oh, we're full of energy credits. Man, we need to spend some money. How do we spend energy credits? Uh, it's upkeep, generally, is pretty much it. So we just need more buildings, more ships. Okay. Well, that's what we're doing at the moment with a ship designer, so we won't worry too much about, yeah. about, about being So what, what do we want our cruisers to do? Are they going to be like um, anti-small ship, anti-big ship? Are they going to be really tough or really aggressive? So, um, oh, is this the front? This must be the I, front. I like to specialise my ships personally, so that I know that my like destroyers are good at this, my cruisers are good at that. Well, I seem to only have torpedoes anyway. Yeah, we haven't researched any other tech. I haven't got any other guns at all. <laughs> no. We've just got space torpedoes. But they come in like medium, small or large, I suppose. And space torpedoes only rank... You can get them higher rank. I guess we just never pulled the right tech cards. Um, so what about our fighters? Do we want 
We can change that to like be fighters or bombers. Or so can I scouts. make? So shall I make these guys even tankier so they never die? Or, oh, or that'll be cool. Them to be like. Well, that's how I, I spec mine out on my file. I made my uh, cruisers really tough and my destroyers very aggressive. Okay. Uh, I don't know if that's the best thing. I, I just like the idea. Put a large reactor in and a whack loads of shields on. All right. Um, oh, yeah, if we just replace those old reactors. Special project complete. Yeah. Okay. The holographic data documents the terms of exchange for a trilateral trade treaty. My God, it's like the Phantom Menace. Between the three <laughs> major alien powers that once. Julian Bashir feels that this fine will prove invaluable to improving our own ability to communicate with alien races. So Julian Bashir is oh, now okay. s has now got the oh. statecraft trait. So it's like um, it's the Rosetta Stone in space. Ah. And he leveled up and gained another Trek expertise. Wow. What the heck, God. Julian? This is like power leveling him. Let me see. Let me, let me go and have a look. What's he up to now? How do I go to him specifically? Um, I think... Uh, go click on his ship. That'll give you more information. Which one's he in? This one. Uh, so he has computing and statecraft. So he needs to be a researcher, really, doesn't he? Yeah, he really does. What are his footprints? What do they mean? See, we need to replace Susie with him. The footprints are survey speed. So he's actually oh, surveying God, he's, he's good at loads of stuff. Well, but look, well, this is 25% service speed, but, but, but look, this is a statecraft thing. Yeah, yeah, it will really speed things up. Julian, cool. I'm sorry, we're going to Bring your space Rosetta Stone with you and you. figure out how to make people happy with it. And we're going to put um, Susie back into, into the pilot seat. She's 78, but... <laughs> She's, wow. Look, she's she's had a good go at, at, at researching casinos, but yeah. it's time to give some young blood a try. Oh, she hasn't finished surveying the, the star she's in at the minute. Oh, really? Yeah, it's still um, grey, yeah, the, the name. Well done. Good spot. Yeah, well, I guess she's like, she probably had a big complaint about how she's been stuck in um, the research lab her whole career. Everyone else got to fly off around the galaxy and find cool stuff, and she wants to have a go. Yeah, and since since we researched aging to give him the next like ten years, hmm. she's probably like got like a biological, like a, a, yeah. a mechanical, like uh, like. Um, she's probably only like fifty by today's standards. I like I like the idea that she's just a granny with like you know like Bionic blonde legs. like grey curls <laughs> and like little glasses with like with a string around them, you know, holding them on, <laughs> okay. and just like like squinting at a casino <laughs> thing. Uh, all right, so there all that's all the all the spaceports built. Cool. Uh, let's get some. Oh yeah, we were going to build so, ships, sorry, weren't yeah, we? We're really, really behind on like researching guns, though. Yeah, yeah, we probably need to. Do you um, know what I mean, I feel like sort that out. I feel like medium space torpedoes are not going to cut it in future. No, like if we run into anyone who's like got heavy armor instead of heavy shields, we're, we're probably stuffed. Is it worth like building them anyway and then upgrading them later? Yeah, we can refit them later. Refitting's always cheaper than building from scratch. All right. Well, let's do that then. Uh, screw it. Armor, armor. Just armor. <laughs> cool. There we go. Oh, you didn't save. You click no. Why is that? Hey! Why is that? <laughs> it's the wrong way round, isn't it? I know. It's yeah. so annoying. Thank you for being here, or else this would be a disaster. All right. So I can actually spend some money to make some of these. Yeah. Down. I think I don't know if everyone can build cruisers yet, but Earth definitely can. Man, I can't believe our energy supply is so good. Yeah, I think we dedicated a couple of worlds to like pure power generation. Oh, so we just hooked up 11 here as well. Oh, yeah, of course. Yeah, I think once we build a bunch more bits and bobs, we'll be able to hook up. Um, a lot. These all cost one, you know, power to, to hook up. Mm. So we'll prioritise hooking those up, I think, in future. Cool. Wow. It's quite, 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 quite a lot of work to manage all this stuff. Yeah, there's a lot going on. Ah, we got this colonised, this place, though. Ah, oh, okay, cool. So, so I guess... Um, probably want to build a robot, yeah, I guess. More robots and, and more food places. Oh, robots cost energy. Yeah. Okay, let's build a bunch of robots. Yeah, if we can if we can start finding things that, that cost energy. Yeah, and just keep our keep our balance from maxing out. Yeah. Uh, there's an alien proto-civilization oh. on Salt 3. Amazing. Hmm. Oh, they've got... They're basically... They're in World War Two. On which planet? Oh, man. We've just found alternate reality Earth, where they're still fighting World War Two. What the fuck? <laughs> it's amazing. It's a primitive, it's a machine age primitive civilization. Oh, we've got to build a, like a, an outpost to like watch them. What That's happened? That's so weird. That is the weirdest thing. Ever. All right, you're going to build. Oh, uh, no, we can't build anything uh, here till we've got like a territory. Ah. Uh, 
Okay, that's fine. We'll handle it. We know what we're doing. Ashy Max. Oh, oh why those is this... cheeky cheekies. What did they do? They've colonized. Oh, they built... Upgraded. Those... Complete. But this is the hand tax. We've got to uplift these guys. Yeah. Oh, don't worry. Man, we maybe we've got another war on our hands. Maybe. We'll fight. We'll see. How are we doing with these neighbors? Are they friendly? I can't remember who they are. Uh, They're not really very friendly. No. What's their military strength like? Uh, Equivalent oh, to mm. ours. Um... But it won't be once we build up our cruisers. Once we get, once we get our, once oh, we really need to do some weapons research. Yeah. But but this isn't the way to build the federation, is it? No, I guess not. It's not very, not very peaceful. But there aren't a lot of peaceful options. I guess we can, um, we could actually form a federation later. Okay. Which is quite cool. That's our goal, definitely. Have we got the tech for that? Yeah, we did research it. Okay, cool. We need to find uh, like a race that's friendly with us to start with. Who's a good candidate? Do we have anyone who actually likes us? Or have we just met a bunch of space assholes? Uh, oh, yeah, we, we were friendly with these guys, weren't we? Up here. Oh, uh, yeah, let's have a chat with them. The Grok Grocknoplorans, see? Oh, the Grocknoplorans. We're, we're totally cool with these guys. See, we wanted to join their alliance. Ah, oh, but they're currently at war with someone, so we can't. Are they fighting war with Unidentified Empire? Well, we'll find out. But these guys are, like, totally cool with us. Yeah. Um... Yeah, oh my god, the technology is superior to ours. A naval equivalent is equivalent fleet. Oh my god, they're better than us. I thought well, we were good, like doing the best. But good guys to have on side, I guess. The gravity well of Sol 6 has pulled in a massive amount of space debris, which we can mine for metal. There you go. Man, this, this system is really suspicious. Sol 6, aka. Is this like Mirror World Earth? Do we've gone through some kind of like. Oh. Susie Graham is now carefree. Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. whoa, whoa <laughs> she's whoa, on whoa. The, the last science ship, I think. She's the 78-year-old granny yeah, who loves... Yeah, she's gone, gone nuts. She's finally... She, she's finally been put out there in the world, and she's gained... The ability Ooh. to research normally 35% faster. Oh, she just It's because she knows exactly what she's doing. She's been doing playing this game long enough to just get in there, sort it out. I think she's been playing like a lot of the... Um, she's been reading all the reports coming mm. in. Uh, show us how it's done. Right. Well, it looks like everything's researched down this end, so I'll send them off to research these other other yeah. parts. So I think, the, like our home area where our territory is, this is like the alpha quadrant. Yeah. And then like this new bit we're exploring is like I don't know what the beta quadrant. You never hear much about the beta quadrant in Star Trek. Can you destroy frontier outposts while you? Yeah, you can scrap them. Right. So we can just build them if we want. Yeah, and then just get rid later. They're quite expensive, but. Can we build one out here, for example? Yeah, yeah. We Should I put one like here? Uh, well, we'll have to get the uh, construction ship upgraded to with the better jump drives. Ah, okay, let's do that. I'll put the Ganges on upgrade duty. Sweet. And the other two are finishing off some builds. Um, do you think we should do one here? Uh, I think the new area is richer. So if we can Probably only do one, is, then it? that's the place to go. But if we're going to... Eventually we we'll do everything, will not we? Influence, so yeah, we could do two. Plenty of, plenty of influence going. We're oh. going to spend a lot of that soon, though, when the first generation dies off and we'll have to recruit, like, eight new leaders. I feel like we should have built more science stations, do you know what I mean? Yeah, I like, do feel like maybe we're a little low on science. I didn't realise how important it was. I guess, do we not get the science coming in from our se se sector? We must do, right? We do, yeah. But still, those numbers were 30, 30 science in everything seems a little low. Maybe our new planet should be just... Science fantastic. Thirteen minerals here. Look at those. Oh, so juicy. Oh, man, and six energy. So juicy. Man, that, that system's creeping me out a bit. It's got like ancient space wreckage above uh, humans fighting World War II. Nothing it doesn't add up, you know? Yeah, it's mysterious. And they've got mirror Saturn and mirror Jupiter. Everything's too similar. Everything's called like see this is Jupiter, not Sol. Yeah. 5B. I think maybe this this gap between our sector and the sector, you know, the gulf that we had to upgrade our engines to get across, this isn't just normal space. This is some kind of, like, dimensional portal. Oh, my goodness. 